Hi, Nadine Coyle. Hello, Scott Mouse. How are you? Now, I saw you for a bit last night and you were saying that um, it's kind of a, a lot easier uh, being on your own because being with other girls, it takes like three times as long to get ready and everything, so... Yeah, five times as long. Five times as long, yeah. <laughs> so it's quite nice to just be like your own, do your own thing for a while. It is. It's really, really nice. I mean, it's nice and relaxed. You can kind of, you know, just come and go and everything's kind of just very relaxed. Hmm. Do you think you prefer it or is it just different? It's just different. It's just, and this is only really my first, well, second proper day of doing stuff by myself. So I'm just getting under the swing of it. Huh. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's different. It's a lot quieter. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Just you. Yeah, just me. It's mm. just quiet. Me and my thoughts. Yeah. Now, we uh, saw lots of pictures of you arriving at Heathrow yesterday. You, you got in from LA yesterday, right? Yes, yesterday okay. morning. Looking all loved up, I have to say. All right, really? Yeah, giggling, smiling. Oh, great. Jason. I was, I was happy to be back. Yeah. Mm. Uh, no, it looked like you had a bit of canoodling going on. But anyway. well, Maybe that was just a funny picture. It could have been. It yeah. You know how these pictures can tell lies? Oh, if I know. You know. I did notice, however, a big sparkly ring. Yeah. On on that finger, on that finger. So is that uh, is that an engagement ring, <gasps> Scott? Is it? You can't wear a big sparkly ring and and get pictures taken of you, and then expect to not answer this question. Um. Maybe. Yes, it is an engagement ring. Is it? Mm-hmm. You're actually engaged. Yes. Yay! Yes. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. When did this happen then? Last week. Did it? I just got back from London and um. He was in New York, and then he surprised me. We were ringing and oh. stuff. While I was on my pajamas, you know, if I had a known, I would have got a blow dry or at least get a manicure or something. But well, surely no. it was just you and him there. Yes. All oh, right, was. that's fine then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might not do my hair for this bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. So is, it happened in London. It happened in LA. In LA. Yeah. Okay. And how did he do it? He um, he was really nice about it. He get down and two knees, not one knee, because he played football for a while so he was all banged up so okay. he kind of got down and asked me all nice two stuff. knees is fine though yeah it was different yeah it was it was really really nice oh i'm really pleased oh he's out there now he's probably dying he's ah, you hello. see him yeah i can see him <laughs> he's like oh god <laughs> oh, <no>. oh, good. <laughs> she said about the two knees but... yeah. all right um we're gonna play your song brilliant okay um now a lot of our listeners um I need to ask you, I'm quite worried about all the rumours and gossip surrounding Girls Aloud at the moment. Uh-huh. And there's quite a lot flying around, isn't there? I know, there is. It's really, really a shame because it, it has been, it's been going on for years. And it's just one of those things, I think, you know, because it was eight years we were together. We'd done our greatest hits. We'd done the, all our two albums after that. And then we decided from the greatest hits, you know, let's take a break and let's everybody do your own thing and let's see what happens and then we'll come back and we'll do stuff whenever we have good songs again. Hmm. And um, and that's really where we're at. Everybody's just only kind of started to get their own stuff going now and doing stuff. Hmm. All right, no, right, okay, no, it's just various stuff that we've been hearing, and you can just tell me what you think about it and whether it's true or not. If okay. that's okay, okay, yes. okay. Number one, that you are telling friends that you don't intend to perform with Girls Loud again, and you talk about the uh, time in the band in the past tense. <laughs> no, that's not true. Okay, uh, you've had no contact with the band at all. Um, no, I mean, no, that's not. I haven't seen them in a while, to be honest. But we haven't been working in a while, so we mm. haven't had, you know, anything to sort out or do anything like that. Because uh, Heat Magazine was saying that you had a secret, that Sarah had a secret chat with you. Oh, not a secret chat. But a chat. Um, no, I, I I spoke, well, I tried to call Sarah a couple of weeks ago um, to see how everything was with her and her dogs and stuff and her life. But hopefully I get to see her, get to catch up with them when I'm back. Okay. What, what was the uh, last, did you get a phone call or a text recently from any of the other girls? No. Okay. No. So you have kind of grown apart a little bit yeah, for now. Yeah, for now. Because it's not, because what brought us together was the work. And now that we're not working together, I, you know, they haven't, haven't seen them. Is it? Would you say it's more of a business arrangement than friends? I would say we work really, really well together. We have a very friendly working relationship. Okay, cool. Um, also, what else have I got here? Uh, oh, you're not sure if Cheryl had malaria or not. That's not true. How right. would I? That's just definitely. I would never say something like and that. And didn't you send her a text anyway to make yes. sure she was all right? Yes. Did you hear back? No. <laughs> oh, okay. She's probably ill. Yeah, she's probably ill, exactly. Yeah. Have you spoken to Cheryl at all? No, not for a while. Okay, cool. 
Do you, do you, I mean, how, like, if girls allowed, do you get back together? How will that fit in, though, with the, with, uh, with the band stuff and then your solo stuff as well? Well, I think because all of us are doing our own thing. You know, everybody's got their own individual things going on. that will have to be a huge five-piece piece collaboration to get all of our schedules together. Hmm. Um, do you think it will happen? Time. It, I, it definitely could happen. Okay. But when? I don't know. Hmm. It will depend. It'll depend when everybody's ready for ready it. Ready for it, aye. And also because the music with the band was always so good that it would have to be really, really good stuff. And do you think is it just waiting for the next song, or is or do you think that it's going to take a while for everybody's schedules to be to get together again? Could could be, yeah. Because yeah. it hasn't been that long, actually. You know, it's been this time last a year. year. Yeah, yeah. We done the Coldplay stuff. Hmm. And we had a, a record out just before that and a tour. Hmm. Um. So we shall see. So do you think you'll all like meet up at some point and just go, OK, let's do it again? Yeah, and do you know there's loads of elements to doing something like that? It's, you know, it's a huge big operation because there's a record label and there's managements and there's people's schedules and there's, you know, record label schedules and it's where you fit in. The difference with me being able to do my stuff now is it's been a lot more, you know, because I've done the distribution deal with Tesco and mm. I've been able to open a label and that it just means that it's, you know, it's kind of I can work on my own schedule. And, and do it that way so I'm, I'm flexible so whenever we're ready to come back and do it then I will be there to do it Okay. and who has to make the call? how does that work? Uh, see I don't know I've never done this before this is a whole oh. new thing so I'm sure I don't know would somebody say maybe someone will say oh there's this great song or mm. you know maybe if I've written a song or somebody's you know yeah. there's a good song for us to do then I'm sure we would all pull together and make okay. it happen but you haven't split up no we never I mean definitely I can only speak for myself but that's something I definitely don't want you know to ever happen it's, there's like no point mm. yeah you know it would be nice to, mm. to be kind of they always keep it as part of being in the group excellent 